viewers all over the world this is levi salome all the way from ecg the jesus nation church south sudan juba branch and we are here today visiting a man of god from a different ministry whose life has changed because of the parak book and uh, we're here to hear from him and to know his testimony regarding the parak man of god how are you i'm fine i'm fine can you please tell us your name and where you're coming from and your ministry I'm called Nyele Mabe James. I a member of the Scopal Church of South Sudan, which is commonly known as ECS. And uh, the church that I'm praying in is called St. Thomas Church Kugi. Yes, Caroline Wangeshi Mabe. Mabe is my dad. Um, I serve at Watoto Church Children's Ministry. Amen. Okay, tell us, man of God. Uh, how did you get hold of the parak? Thank you. You know, God has his own plans. Uh, we work with Pastor John Vuga in World Food Program. And always I found him reading when it reached the time of lunch, at least 12, he gets this parak and he reads. Then I pick interest. Why is always, and then he pray, he pray silently. I say, I went, let me check. After seeing it, opening through it, I found that Parach has a life-changing uh, uh, topics, subtopics like, then you know, it gives something, and then when you read it, it explains itself, and then I found that it is really touching on on somebody. Like I, when I read one of the chapter, I remember that was Wednesday, and it is about a proscenating. And then I found that it really affected me. And one person whereby I decided if my daughter here is, is a, a witness, I will say I want to do this one. But okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, mm -hmm. tomorrow. When I read it, I went to John. I said, eh, the book he gave me yesterday, the parish, was really touching on what is affecting me, mm -hmm. affecting me. So from this day onwards, whatever I wanted to do, I have to start it and finish it. Because the day I opened it, I found something that is really touching on me. So from that time onwards, I say, this is a book. Whenever you have, let me have one. Mm. That's when I started getting this one, Paraj. And when I came to the house here, mm. because we have always evening devotion. Mm. And then I found that Paraj is good because every day you have at least someone, one something to follow, mm. something to look into. Even the children at home. I give them it become very easy before give them Bible they look where are we going where am I going to look what is someone am I going to do but with this one they're able to say today what is the day and this is in fact to become a part of us in the in the in the, in the family mm -hmm. and some of our colleagues especially the you from the church when they come here I give them they borrow it they go and use it and then they bring it mm -hmm. back to me that's why you see I have this very many of them. Even some are still out. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Amen. As we can see, uh, as we have heard, uh, our pastor from the church from Juba Branch, Pastor, uh, pastor John Foka, is his colleague at work, right? Mm. He's the one who inspired him uh, to get hold of the barrack. And as you have heard, uh, you have heard the testimony. He said that reading only one day has captured his heart one of god since uh, when was that when was the first time like you you really uh and get got the park uh it was uh, last year november last year november and ever since that time every month you have to have a park every month i have to have parak even if i'm in the field mm. when i come from there i asked john Vuga. he say where I, do i have mine he has already put it as part of routine mm. for me to get it even i got that one of this man yesterday mm. when i came from field i went to him monday we met i said do i have mine he said yes so i got it i came with it home wow. all right caroline tell me how how did you find the parak um like he said we normally have family devotion in the evening so i was just was i from work from mm. school i can't remember so we we're just having the devotion and then he pulled out a book mm. so we asked him okay because we were used to we would have the devotion then and then he would point out that either carol or someone else mm. is leading the devotion or he's doing it himself 
but now he came up with a book so we were like okay let's see what's going on today so he read the devotion because it has the scripture then the explanation then it also has a prayer part of it yes. so it became so easy compared to just randomly doing it because mm. we would just randomly pick out a scripture would speak on it pray about it but now the book also it works like a guideline mm. so it's easier especially for us the kids because it's not easy for really young people to talk more yeah. about the bible but with the kids since we have some that are 12 and 15 mm. so they speak more about it if they have it it's easier for them mm. so i found out about the book from my dad through the family devotion mm. and i'm even shocked to lead devotion easily even when he's not around like he said sometimes he'll go for field and then he'll carry his book with him mm. so we will take the ones that he left here mm. we don't mind repeating we'll repeat it because it has become like a system in the house mm. so it's easier even if i maybe forget they'll come and like car wake up we have to do devotion and they carry out the book and pull out it and it's devotion it's easier now mm. yeah All right. Okay. On a on a on a spiritual scale, like how do you see yourself after ministering the parak or like after the parak has ministered into your life and the life of the lives of your brothers and sisters? Okay. Um personally, I I am a Christian, yes. But reading the Bible sometimes is hard. Mm-hmm. Or maybe when you read the scripture, it doesn't really relate. You can't really relate to it. but using the park guide it has a deeper a deeper explanation with the explanation part of the scripture mm. so personally after reading that then i go and read my bible after it mm. becomes much much more easier mm. because i'll read the bible yes but from the background of what i've read from the book it's much more easier to even apply it to myself mm. yeah A man of God, I have another question for you. Mm. All right, you are a minister of the gospel, right? Mm. So after having the parak in your life and being a daily uh, meal to you, mm. uh, how did it change your ministry in in the ECS? So the parak is like a mirror. Whatever you wanted to do, you will feel like it. What did it say? Mm. So you now act according to what is there. Mm. Um, after. getting it reading it and then you start doing and sometimes also it has some life skill informations so like the youth because mostly i associate the church and the development and the youth before i was also the advisor to youth mm. so some of the advisors when i get from here i say out them also mm. in the youth section mm. so this how the parish also help me mm. and and how 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 did the lives of the youth change after you like you're using the parak to minister to them um, most most of them they are able to like the new ones mm. are able to live what uh, they the 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 lifestyle that sometime they they used to do mm. and then they change and become now and join that group in the church that mm. is uh, they they look at them as a role model Mm. Uh, because even the uh, in the parach when you read there are some parts about role modeling role model and then they keep going doing something that is good amen mm. amen this is indeed a very powerful testimony because a one one pastor from our branch buying a book to another man of god and changing his his life at the personal scale then the life of his family and his children and then the life of the youth in a different church and this is when you know indeed that god is behind this mighty book all right uh, what advice can you give uh, to those who are listening and watching to us right now thank you uh, i will advise them that let them look for where they will get this parak it is a life changing you look at it is more like this one but what is inside there is deep that can really help you in your life mm. get one and read it it is like addicted when you get one you will keep asking every time can i have mine mm. can i have mine like me when i'm the feel and i don't have it is like something is missing from me oh, wow. something is missing mm. because every day a daily from one day until the end of the month it tells you something mm. something that is real different mm. and it's also deeply simplified the, the language that they use here is very simple for everybody to to understand, understand to understand and, and some of the things are really life touching mm. life touching 
you just open like this you go to that section that you talked about what your situation is in that time and then it will help you look for it and get for yourself one my sister i uh, tell me uh, like can you give an advice uh, to those who are watching us right now regarding the parag book okay um what i can say especially is for new converts people who have recently given their life to god because it's i feel like when you're just even if you've just given your life to god you, you're sort of like confused yes. but having a book that is guiding you especially on a daily because if you've not been reading the bible then you have to read the bible yes. you don't know what you you're just going to have to open and see where you've opened and read there mm. but the fact that it has a day one till the end of the month makes it easier for you creates a routine for you mm. so you'll have to read the bible and it becomes enjoyable mm. rather than you feel like it's a duty but rather it it makes it easier and e much more easier to understand and to apply it into life because it has the action point and the mm -hmm. prayer part of it so yeah. what you've read how to act on it and also to pray to about, pray it. about it. it yeah wow. thank you yeah this is amazing i uh, thank you so much our viewers all over the world uh, this is our testimony from the man of god uh, and so many many much more testimonies to come in jesus name